And back here in the Greater Caribbean, Minister for Foreign Affairs and Regional Integration, Shalia Yakobuchi, has uh, sacked all overstaying officers from the agencies, including the Ghana uh, Police Service, uh, the Ghana Army, amongst others, uh, stationed at the Accra Passport uh, Office. Now, according to her, uh, their long stay uh, breeds familiarity and exposes them to compromises. She has also uh, accused some of the of officials uh, enga in engaging in some shady deals uh, with the middlemen. Madam Shalia Yakobo has uh, revealed that investigations are underway to deal with uh, culprits. Meanwhile, she has expressed shock by a recent United Nations uh, Office on Drug and Crime report that puts the passport office on number six in the list of uh, corrupt institutions. First of all, let me say that um, this is not the first time I've come to the passport office. I've done an unannounced tour of the two passport application centers. But for me, this particular visit has become necessary because of some reports that I have. Reports that officers and there are nine or so agencies represented in any passport application center that these people represented from the various agencies. And I will not say that my own officers are not part of it. But these people are involved in illegal activities. And when I say illegal activities, we all know just two days ago, the report um, in, in, in the Daily Guide that the, 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 the issue of Goro people involved in our passport acquisition process has become rife. It is wrong. How can 100 Ghana for standard service to acquire a passport and 150 for expedited service bump, be bumped up to 2,000 and 3,000. Yeah, yeah, they don't even charge 2,000 now. They are charging 3,000. And it's wrong. But I can say, and we all would agree, that a Goro person is outside the passport office. They need somebody inside to work with. They cannot do it on their own. People are paying 3,000, 2,000 to acquire passports. Why should this be so? And sometimes they don't even, they don't even, even, even carry out the, the, the so-called service that they promised them for charging them so much. The stories are horrific stories. People's experiences are not the best. Honorable Minister, you think the, some of the agency officials are lazy with this guru boy? I'm not this? saying some of the agency. I'm saying that some people in here are involved in it. Because, like I said, the Goro person who is outside... If he takes somebody's money, how can he deliver a passport if he's not working with somebody inside? Have you launched any investigations to fish out we this are, we, are, we, are, we are investigating. We are, we, we are investigating. Sorry, I said investigating. We are investigating and we have, we, we, we have some leads which we are, we, are, we are dealing with. And very soon um, we'll, we'll be able to, 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 to have some firm... Uh, 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 um, information that we, we will deal with. It's so wrong. But why the agent directive to the agencies, those who have overstayed Listen, here, to go back? Listen, this is not something that is new. We've always said that no agency should keep their staff here for more than a year. And yet, this is overlooked sometimes. And so I intend to ensure that this is carried out to the letter. There are some people outside, not outside Ghana, but a cartel who are working with people. I mean, you've gone through the process of, of, of online system, putting in place systems to ensure that people do not go through a, a very laborious process. And yet, you, people have, have problems acquiring passports. Yes, I know that we have some issues. Once in a while, there are issues of shortage of, of booklets. And this has come about a few times since COVID. Apart from that also, we have an issue with the printers, which the World Bank, thankfully, um, is going through the process, well, the end process of it, of giving us new printers that can print um, high numbers, even per hour.
So that, I, I was hoping that by now, because I was in Parliament and I informed them that, that we are at the end process of it. So I was hoping that by now we would have those printers um, installed so that this whole thing will, will, will come, will be, you know, there'll be an end to it. Unfortunately, this hasn't happened. But this human intervention of what I'm told is called, what, rebooking is human. It's, an, it's a human intervention, an, an illegal human intervention. Because if you are given an appointment for, say, to come in October, November, and you want it earlier, then there should be some intervention. That's where they use to make money. And let me use your, 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 your media to, to appeal to Ghanaians that, please, if you do not have immediate need for a passport, please take your time, let the time come when you've been given the appointment and come and process. Unless there's an emergency. If there's an emergency, I don't have a problem. If there's an emergency, find a way to get to the passport directors and let them know that there's an emergency because we have we make provision for emergency passports and directors please make yourself available to the public that's why you are here uh, honorable uh, interestingly your action come at the time that the united nations office on drugs and crime puts the parties uh, i mean the passport office on number six of the list of um, public um, I mean, offices that are corrupt in the country. Are you devastated by this? Very devastated because um, this is not the way it should be. If indeed what you are quoting is, is the case, yeah, here is the case. Yeah. Then because people, the hue and cry from Ghanaians, you know, the hue and cry, their, their, their experiences are not the best. And we'll get you some updates uh, on that uh, engagement between the minister at the public um, uh, passport office here in Accra. Uh, we'll get you some updates later on. But for now.